Today, we're going to learn how to view and control your torrent files semi-remotely from an iPhone or an iPod Touch with the popular torrenting application Transmission. Now, I said semi-remotely because um, you're only going to be able to control the files on your local network, meaning if you do the same procedure that I'm showing you right now, you're not going to be able to go to any computer across the World Wide Web and access your torrent files. That's a whole different thing and it's a lot harder to do. Anyway, so today we're going to be using the popular torrenting application Transmission available for Linux and Macintosh computers. It's free, so uh, don't worry about paying dollar signs for anything. Um, so basically, uh, run up Transmission, put some torrent files on that bad boy, and uh, fire it up. So, uh, let's get in this. So uh, over here I've got a group of torrent files, all from LegalTorrents.com, because that's the ultimate source for legal torrents. And I would never download otherwise, of course. Anyway, so, uh, we've got your torrent files set up and you want to control them remotely. What do you do? Well, first step, you open up Transmission and you go into Preferences. Now, I know you're going to think, you're going to be like, this is so easy, but it's not that easy. And stop talking like that, it really hurts my ears. So, you're in Preferences, and now all you got to do is click on Remote, click on Enable Remote Access. Uh, you can require authentication if you don't want, like, Uber hacks or is hacking into your systems, but I don't really give a hoot, because it's in my local network, and a hacker would have to be connected to my already secure internet. So, uh, Enable Remote Access and click on Launch Web Interface. Oh, shit! Oh, it hasn't been loaded. Okay, come on, baby. Oh, there we go. All right, so now it's loaded, and you can see everything's working fine. You can control your torrents, but what's the use if you're already in the same computer? So now some of you are again thinking, "What are you? What the hell are you doing? This is this is oh so easy. I just copy this URL, put it on my other computer, and then it'll open." And no, it won't. It won't. Okay. <sighs> It's, it's a much longer process. It's actually not that long. So, basically you need to replace the local host entity with your local IP address, which can be found by clicking the Apple thing and going to System Preferences and then going to Network. And look at that, there's your local IP address. So you can just copy that bad boy and paste it right there. Now I know some of you are like, why aren't you blurring your IP address? Somebody could hack you. No, they can't, because this is my local IP address. This isn't the IP address that people from the internet can swoop in on and kill me. No, this is the local IP address that only computers on my network would see me as that IP address. So, just uh, copy... Oh, shite. Okay. Oh, dear God. So, uh, copy and paste that IP address where it says localhost. So you would get that and uh, there you go now all you need to do is put that URL into your iPod or any other computer on your local network and shabang you're controlling your torrents like that uh, what I would recommend is using a URL shortener to uh, make the URL not so ridiculously long so uh, let's Let's just do that. So now I've shortened that giant mama jamma into something more manageable, like is.gd slash 1sxgh. Easy, right? <clears throat> so now, moving on over to your iPod Touch or iPhone or other computer. All right, now you're going to want to fire up your pod, right? And uh, let's just go to Safari. Uh, Saf. Furry. There we go. And, uh, shoot. Shouldn't have had that up. Oh well. So now type in your little tiny URL. Here, I'll do this in landscape. Come on, baby. Gosh darn it. Oh well. I guess I won't. So, uh, now typing in that URL here. Oh my god. Sorry, this is ridiculously hard to multitask like this. And. Uh, There we go. 
Click on go, and now it should redirect to you like a mouse. And uh, as you can see, I'm now controlling all of my torrent files. And to show you what this is like in real time, uh, click, oh, let's change the desktop over there, click, and uh, scroll up, click on resume, and now you'll notice, oh my god, the desktop just resumed. I could click on that one and click on remove, because I don't need that file anymore, it'll ask me to confirm, and I'm like, hell yeah. So there you go, uh, controlling your torrent files from your iPod, or anything else. Any hoozle. Mm. Ooh. All right. Anyway, uh, if you want to learn more about me or stalk me, just go to my blog at technosexuality.tumblr.com and there's a little stalk me section and I would really appreciate stalkers because, you know, how else is my social network going to build, right? Anyway, all right, guys, uh, read my blog posts, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash tutorials, send me an email, tutorials at gmail.com. <sighs> If you want to contact me, send me an email. Don't message me on YouTube, because I'm probably not going to read it. Anyway, all right, guys. Uh, you have a good flipping day. And I will, too, because I'm going to the beach, because I'm not bedridden anymore, because I am good. All right, see you guys.